everyone. Today I will demonstrate some new features within our CMT3072 demo project by navigating through the project using VNC Viewer and CMT Viewer side by side to illustrate some key differences. VNC Viewer is an excellent tool that will allow you to view and control the HMI as if you were directly in front of it. CMT Viewer, on the other hand, allows for multi-user control and is perfect for demonstrating some of our features in that respect. The first feature that I would like to point out is available within the Concept tab. If we look within the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a Login button. This button will allow an operator to log in within the HMI or an admin to access an account settings menu. Within this menu, the admin can navigate between available account settings, such as a user login or logout, adding accounts, deleting accounts, or checking the operation log. You might also notice that there are two users logged in at the bottom. One is the CMT client, and the other is a local user that has logged in. Navigating to our Add Account section, we can add a new user and define their account privileges which is important because controls can be regulated by user class. Heading back to our settings menu, we also have an account delete menu. This is accomplished by simply selecting the account to be deleted and clicking delete. The admin can also reconfigure the privileges of any user within this menu by selecting user privilege. Here you can configure the privileges of any user within the system. We can also change the password of any user by heading over to our set password menu. These features are neat, but they wouldn't be of great importance if we couldn't track who does what. Luckily, we can by heading over to our operation log. Here we can track exactly who did what and where on a specific time and day. It's important to point out that you're not required to track everything a user does. The specifics can be defined within your Easy Builder Pro project. That covers the specifics of this feature. The next new feature can be found within the Data Streaming tab. The Trend Display now has a hold button to pause data logging in the background, as well as pausing the Trend Display. Navigating through this menu, you'll notice we now have a chart options window, which showcases some of the alternatives to our standard trend display. The first display you'll see is our data block display. This display can record data from multiple registers and display it sequentially, so you can see the trend produced by several separate samples. The next example is of our bar graph, which is perfect for displaying data in a different format. The last chart within this section is an XY plot which reads two registers per point to plot the data. The next feature within this demo can be found within the demo tab. The control panel which once turned the machine on now animates the box in the background creating a slightly more realistic simulation. The picture library and system picture tab have remained the same, but I have added an additional function within the transparency tab that will allow you to demonstrate the configuration of a combo button's sequential actions. Clicking the button that says, how is this effect accomplished, reveals the inner workings of the combo button that controls it. The next addition is within the layers tab. This highlights the workings of the machine displayed and also sends a push notification to your email when the tab is opened that warns you of a system jam. The descriptive down below tells you to click on a part to view more information and selecting near our red bit lamp will reveal the jam in a pop-up window. Closing this window then activates an additional bit lamp that highlights a second issue and sends another push notification to your email. Clicking near this bit lamp reveals an issue with the motor. After closing both pop-up windows, you'll notice 
we have a cover over our system controls in CNT Viewer that effectively locks them with a control token. The next addition to our demo can be found within our new media tab. Opening this tab, you'll notice that we now have a media player, a PDF reader, and a picture viewer, and a file browser. Clicking the upper right hand corner of our media player will reveal a pre-configured menu that serves as a user interface to control the video being played. Selecting the PDF tab will reveal our PDF reader, which will allow the user to navigate through a pop-up file browser to locate the PDF of his or her choosing. The picture viewer has a pre-configured file browser that allows the user to locate and select from picture files located in a specified predefined folder. The last entry in this demo is a complete view of our file browser's object that will allow the user to see all files available in an expanded format. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user rentals, and more. Thank you for watching.